These are the two words every high school student loves to hear. Movie time! Welcome to Gattaca, gentlemen. No, we now have discrimination down to a science. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies shown in high school. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at interesting, entertaining, and informative films that are shown by many teachers as part of their regular high school curriculum. However, we're excluding documentaries, as that's a list for another day. In only 30 days of eating nothing but McDonald's, I gained 24 and a half pounds. Number 10, Good Will Hunting. Yeah, I read that too. Were you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of, of your own on this matter? You either love psychology or you hate it. But there's no better way to study it than by sitting down and watching an inspirational movie about it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Let's let the healing begin. Matt Damon plays tortured genius Will Hunting, who's stunted in his personal and professional life by inner demons. Will has a classic case of attachment disorder, which, for all you non-psychologist types, means he has a hard time building long-lasting relationships because of past traumas, like the childhood abuse he suffered. No, you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that I got f***ing cigarettes put out of me when I was a little kid. Okay, that this that. isn't f***ing surgery, that the mother stabbed me. You don't want to hear that shit, Skyler! Luckily for Will, psychologist Sean McGuire, played by Robin Williams, refuses to give up on him despite his difficult personality. And that's a great lesson for any high school student to come away with. Look at me, son. It's not your fault. I know. It's not your fault. Number 9. Forrest Gump Run, Forrest! Run! The lovable Forrest Gump stumbles and runs through numerous major moments in American history. He meets three presidents, teaches Elvis to dance, and even participates in the Vietnam War. The good thing about Vietnam is there was always some place to go. Fire in the hole! It's one of those movies where you don't realize you're learning something, but you walk away more familiar with 38 years worth of American history. With a cinematic twist, of course. And it's not just history that you learn either, but important life lessons as well. Forrest Gump may not be the brightest bulb in the box, but he works hard and he's a good person, which gets him far in life. Oh, the film also teaches you not to be a Jenny and to stay away from drugs. Another valuable message for teens. Number 8. Hotel Rwanda Don't look, don't look, don't look. Don't look, Tessa. This movie is about the 1994 genocide in Rwanda, when between 500,000 and 1 million people were murdered by members of the Hutu majority government and Hutu backed militias. The movie focuses on Paul Rasesa Bagina, who saved over 1,200 refugees by giving them shelter in a hotel he managed. There's a lot to be learned from this catastrophe and its depiction in the film. For one, it proves how dangerous apathy can be, as many major countries around the world failed to act, despite round-the-clock media coverage and full knowledge of the events taking place. A valuable history lesson on film, the movie goes into gruesome detail and is hard to watch, but the lessons from this massacre must never be forgotten. You do not honestly believe that you can kill them all. And why not? Why not? We are halfway there already. Number 7. American History X We're taking down the Zog machine Jew by Jew by Jew The white man marches on One of the most profanity-laced movies you'll ever watch in a high school classroom, this controversial drama delves into the lives of American neo-Nazis. This is a political movement comprised of people who see Hitler as a role model, believe that white is the superior race, and are notorious for their racially based violence. Now say goodnight! The movie itself follows two brothers and shows how their elitist view of the world causes them nothing but tragedy. Put your hands behind your head! American History X also does a good job of showing the negative sides of this political movement and its cult mentality, making for a compelling addition to any history curriculum. See this? 
That means not welcome. Number six, stand by me. Am I weird? Yeah, but so what? Everybody's weird. This entry is a heartwarming story about friendship with a Stephen King twist. The story follows Gordy, Chris, Teddy, and Vern on their quest to find the body of a missing boy so they can be proclaimed town heroes and get their pictures in the paper. Yeah, yeah, we can even be on TV! Sure! We'll be heroes! Yeah! While their goal is morbid and maybe a bit misguided, these boys show that sometimes the only people you can depend on are your friends. Friends will listen to you when you need to rant, they'll keep you from getting stabbed, and they might even prevent you from being hit by a train. It's a feel-good lesson on friendship, coming of age, and more that'll get you excited for your next summer adventure with friends. At least now we know when the next train was due. Number 5. Of Mice and Men I ain't got mice. I must have lost it. <laughs> you never had none. I got them both here. Get your tissues ready because this is definitely not a feel-good movie. Based on the John Steinbeck novella, both adaptations of this movie go into the dirty details of the Great Depression through the tale of George and Lenny. We're going to have a big vegetable patch. We're going to have a rabbit right, hutch. Rabbit. And down in the flat, we'll okay. have a little Don't field of alfalfa, alfalfa for, the for the rabbit. Even though the story was originally published in 1937, many of its themes remain relevant, which is why the novella is still being studied. One such subject is bullying. Mistreating others is never a good idea, and it's an even worse idea if the person you're bullying is twice your size and freakishly strong. The drama also gives a rather bleak life lesson. If you work hard, and even if you have a dream, life doesn't always work out the way you want it to. You, you ain't gonna leave me, George. I, kn I knew you ain't. Number four, Dead Poet Society. Just when you think you know something, you have to look at it in another way. Even though it may seem silly or wrong, you must try. This movie will get those creative juices flowing and give you a newfound love of poetry. Robin Williams plays John Keating, an English teacher at an uptight academy who uses poetry as a tool to get his students out of their shells. A, a, a madman. What kind of madman? Well, think about it. Just answer again. A crazy man. No, oh, you can do better than that. Free up your mind. Use your imagination. The movie talks about some of the most well-known real-life poets like Lord Byron and Shakespeare, giving them new life, and shows the kids at home a few tips on how to score some points with the ladies. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? This movie is perfect not only for aspiring poets and English majors, but also for those stubborn students who think poetry is lame. Captain, my captain. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. You hear me? Sit down. Number three, Schindler's List. The list is an absolute good. The list is life. Like Hotel Rwanda, this movie shows that even in the worst moments, good people can rise up and become heroes. This Steven Spielberg masterpiece about the Holocaust is centered on Oskar Schindler, a German industrialist who managed to save over a thousand Jews by outsmarting the Nazis. At midnight, you'll be free and I'll be hunted. I shall remain with you until five minutes after midnight, after which time, and I hope you'll forgive me, I have to flee. The film is based on survivor testimony, and Spielberg actually visited the locations where all the events occurred to bring some realism to his retelling of history. It's more than your average Hollywood portrayal and should be seen by everyone, not just students studying World War II. It's Hebrew from the Talmud. It says whoever saves one life saves the world entire. Number two, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Wherefore art thou Romeo? A high school student's worst nightmare, Shakespeare. But don't worry, director Baz Luhrmann has your back. He took the classic story of Romeo and Juliet, two star-crossed lovers kept apart by a family feud, and gave it a modern setting. A thousand times good night. A thousand times the worst to want thy light. This means that the context of the play is easier to understand and the story is more relatable. However, it keeps the original Shakespearean text, so you may still need a dictionary to follow along. Juicio's soul is but a little way above our head, staying for thine to keep him company. Thou wretched boy shalt with him hence. But 
guns, cars, and Leonardo DiCaprio make studying Shakespeare that much more enjoyable. And will definitely keep you awake in class. In my heart love till now, for swear at sight, for I never saw true beauty till this night. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. It doesn't matter what color I am. It's all about color. It's about people deciding what you deserve, about people wanting what they don't deserve. I want you to know something right here and now, Miss Ratchet. I ain't no little kid. You sit I down. ain't no little kid. Number one, to kill a mockingbird. You just learn a single trick, Scout. You get along a lot better with all kinds of folks. This film is heartwarming, full of wisdom, and perfect for students interested in history and law, or who hate reading but still want to do well on that English test. You can see the necessity of going to school We'll keep right on reading the same every night, just as we always have. Based on the novel by Harper Lee and required reading in many high schools, the story follows the experiences of young Scout as she learns about racism and about doing the right thing. The moral beacon in this movie is Atticus Finch, Scout's father, and he spits out so many life lessons it's hard to keep track of them all. If every lawyer were like Atticus, the world would be a better place. So, future law students, take note. In the name of God, do your duty. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.